A job loss double whammy is looming. Federal budget cuts could lead to layoffs and could also mean huge cuts for the agencies that help laid off workers. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has more on this possible sequester snowball effect. Time is running out for Tesoro to find a buyer for its refinery. If that doesn't happen soon, up to 200 workers stand to lose their jobs. Tesoro is working to help place its employees by organizing a job fair. And this afternoon, the Labor Department's rapid response team began meeting with refinery employees to explain the ins and outs of unemployment. They're not laid off actually yet, but this is good because we like to work with them early on. The state has also reached out to Sears, who says 327 workers could be affected by a decision to close its Ala Moana Center store in June, months earlier than originally announced. We'll have to wait until we know more about what their needs are going to be. That includes determining who qualifies for unemployment and whether they're interested in future full-time or part-time work. And here's where things get about to get even more complicated. Many of the programs to help displaced workers rely on federal funds. With sequestration looming, those programs could face cuts. Definitely we will be affected. And if you talk to my director, he will tell you that our department alone is about 86 to 87 percent federal funded. Thus setting up an awkward scenario. Workers who help people that lose their jobs are now worried about their own jobs. In Elaine Young's division alone, that's 106 people. Labor officials can't say exactly how many positions might be eliminated. The state has set aside some funds to be able to offset some of those cuts. They hope to know more next week. At the State Labor Department, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.